Welcome to day three of writing a narrative. Today we're going to be organize our organizing our writing using a four square. We are so close to putting our story together, but now we need to add an, a beginning and an end. So the topic or the beginning is just introducing your reader to your writing or setting the scene in this case. So we're going to use our prompt to help us make our topic. So here's our prompt right here. We've got our example prompt, not the one you're writing about, but an example that we've been working on this whole time. So it says, over the summer, you and your friends go to the park. On the other side of the field, you see a monster coming out of the ground. What happens next? Compose a one paragraph essay sequencing at least two events. So we're gonna use this part where it says, over the summer, you and your friends go to the park. So I know that I've got to paint this picture for my reader. I might include me and my friends somehow, and that we're at the park, and that we see this monster coming out of the ground. So I could come up with something like this. If you recall in our brainstorming, I came up with some friends, so I'm going to use them, Sarah, Sam, and then myself so I Sarah Sam and I were at the park I'm giving the setting or the scene of where we're at when we saw a monster come out of a hole in the field so I'm using my prompt to check out what I did so I talked about Sarah Sam and I me and my friends right here we're at the park just like it says we're at the park here and then we saw a monster come out of a hole in the field. I even included this part right here. Here on the other side of the field, you see a monster coming out of the ground. So I took chunks of my prompt, pieced it together, and came up with my topic sentence. So we used our prompt to come up with the beginning of our writing. And what this is what we came up with. Sarah, Sam, and I were at the park when we saw a monster come out of a hole in the field. The next thing we have to do is our conclusion, or the end of our story, wrapping things up. And I came up with this conclusion. It was one crazy day at the park. Now I have both my topic and my conclusion. Here are both of them. And we are going to now put it into this thing called a four square. And maybe you've seen it before, but if you haven't, here is our four square. And it's a four squared piece of paper, basically, with a diamond in the middle. And our diamond here is going to be our topic. So if you recall, our topic was Sarah. Sam and I were at the park when we saw a monster come out of a hole in the field. So there was my topic sentence and it's going right here in the middle. So when you come up with your topic of your four square, you're going to put it here on number one, typing your topic or beginning here. So this is where you would put your topic on your formative. And now we're taking what we did yesterday with our uh, sequencing and we're going to put it over here in our four square. And for time, I'm just gonna copy and paste this in so you can see. So I have my first one here. But take a look, I didn't copy the word first, so I need to add the word first over. And if and that's known as my transition word, first comma, and we have a comma after it. So that's going in this square up here, or on your formative, it's going into number two right here. So type, and it tells you right on number two, type what happens first here. And so if you recall, the only thing I did is I added the word first there and I made sure I had a comma after the word first. Now I need to take the thing that happens next. And once again, for time, I'm just going to copy this. But don't forget to add 
the next part. So the word next, comma, and we said next we offered it a granola bar Sarah had in her backpack. So now I have my first, next, and then I need my very last thing here. So then I don't forget the word last at the beginning. That sounds funny, but that's where it goes. And last, the monster was happy, friendly, and played at the park with us. So now I took everything from my Let's Summarize graphic organizer and I put it into my Foursquare. And the best way to do that here on your, um, your, um, sorry, your Foursquare here is to have it open. Have what we did on day two open and day three open as well, your Foursquare. So you could even use what you wrote on day two and put it into day uh, three from your four square. So maybe have both of those things open in two different tabs. You could go back to the classwork and open it here so that you have it ready to go. Because all you are doing, just like all I did over here, was I took what was in my graphic organizer here and I'm putting it and making it look prettier here in our four square. But if you notice, we still have one box that's empty. And now I'm going to take my conclusion that I wrote and type it in here. So it was, it was one crazy day at the park. And there's the end of my four square. I've got all four squares filled and I'm ready to go. And look, I lost it. That's okay. Okay, this will be better. This will be better. We got this. Welcome to day three of writing a narrative story. Today we're going to be talking about organizing our writing and using a four square. There is a lot that goes into today, so please make sure you watch this video and go back to it as often as you need to know what you need to do. So we are so close to putting our story together, but now we just need to add a beginning and an end and organize everything. So a topic is our, also known as the beginning, and it's introducing our reader to what we're writing about. It's setting the scene for our story. And we are going to use the prompt to make our topic or at the beginning of our story. 
So here is our prompt here that we've been using these last few days as our example. Remember, you're writing about something else and this is just the one we've been using as an example. So our prompt has been, over the summer, you and your friends go to the park. On the other side of the field, you see a monster coming out of the ground. What happens next? So we came up with some ideas and brainstormed, but I'm going to use this prompt to help me come up with the beginning of my story. Like, it's going to include me and my friends. And I am in the park on the other side of the field, and I see a monster coming out of the ground. So I'm going to use all of those to help me write my topic. And if you recall, I had my characters were my friends. So I have Sarah, Sam, and I were at the park when we saw a monster come out of a hole. I'll add a hole in the field. So if you notice, I did Sarah, Sam, and I, you and your friends, whoops, um, and we're at the park, just like it tells me here in my prompt, and we saw a monster, just like it said, we see a monster coming out of the ground, and I added coming out of a hole in the field. So Sarah, Sam, and I were at the park, and we saw a monster come out of the field. So I used my prompt to make my topic. And this is our topic right here, just like I said. So now we have our conclusion or the end of our story. We're wrapping things up. And this is the conclusion that I came up with for our story. It was one crazy day at the park. So I have my topic or my beginning, and now I have my conclusion. And I'm ready to go organize and put it in my Foursquare. So you're going to have a formative that looks like this graphic organizer. Or here's the example that you're using or looking at right now for day three is our four square. And our topic is going to go right here in the middle of our, of our four square. So we have our four squares here and in this diamond we're going to put our topic. And if you recall our topic was Sarah, Sam, and I were at the park when we saw a monster come out of a hole in the field. So I put it all there. So when you come up with your beginning, you're going to put it straight into your four square. Or if you look at the formative here, you're going to put it straight into box number one. Type your topic or beginning here. And do so if I were putting it into the formative, I would type everything I just put here into this first box. And now I have these next three boxes two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to take what I wrote in my sequencing graphic organizer and make sure I include those things in my Foursquare. So for time, I'm just going to copy and paste. And I took what was on my first one, and I'm putting it here. But I need to add my transition word or the word first. And now I have my first box filled. First, we walked over to the monster and saw it was red and fluffy. So in my formative, you're going to type that into box number two. Type what happens first here. And here's a quick tip. I suggest you have two tabs open, writing day three and writing day two, because then you can go back to writing day two and remember what you wrote in your story here. So you could even copy it just like I did. So let's say this is what I had written. You can take this and highlight it. Oh, my computer's being slow. And two finger click it and hit copy. And then you can come over here to your Foursquare and paste it in here, just like so. 
if that if you think you can do that great if not just flip back and forth and type what you learn what you wrote